Hey guys, it's Nick from Part Time Pilot. I'm gonna do some videos starting on the whiteboard. So today we're going to be doing air spaces and VFR weather minimums with air spaces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an airspace triangle. It's what I use. I keep it in my head. I've memorized how to draw it, and that way, on the, your test, your FAA written test. You can have this triangle in your head, you can draw it out on your scrap paper, and now it's there for all your questions. You can reference it. It's a real handy tool to physically interpret something as a memory aid like this triangle. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a big triangle. Next, we're gonna divide it into sections. We're gonna start with a base. We're gonna start with a, a top triangle, and then we're gonna divide the middle into three triangles, okay? Then we're gonna draw some altitude levels, okay? We have our surface here, okay? And then we have twelve hundred feet AGL. And up here we have ten thousand feet MSL. So anything above this represents when you're above 10,000 feet MSL in that airspace. Anything between here, these two areas, means you're above 1,200 feet AGL but below 10,000 feet MSL. And then anywhere in between this little range, you're above the surface but you're below 1,200 feet AGL. And then this, this is just going to be separate. It's going to be our class Bravo, but I'll show you that in a second. It's kind of separate from the altitudes because class Bravos designate their own altitudes and the requirements for VFR weather minimums do not change no matter what altitude you're in. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the actual names and then we're gonna say the visibility and the cloud clearance requirements. So up here you have class Echo and Gulf. And this is five comma one 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 and we're gonna use this abbreviation to again help with our memorization. The first number is going to be visibility so that's five statute miles visibility the second three digit number is going to start with the first digit is going to be feet above cloud so that's a thousand feet above the second one is going to be below so that's a thousand feet below and the third number is going to be horizontal distance that's going to be one statute mile horizontal so when you're in class e or G above 10,000 feet MSL, your VFR weather minimums are five statute miles, 1,000 feet above clouds, 1,000 feet below clouds, one statute mile, horizontal distance from clouds. The next triangle I draw is this one, the middle one, C, D, and E. So this represents class Charlie, Delta, and Echo from 1,200 feet AGL to 10,000 feet MSL. And here this one is gonna be three 152. So that's three statute miles visibility, 1,000 feet above, 500 feet below, and 2,000 feet horizontal distance from clouds. Next, the two triangles to the left and right of our middle triangle is going to be both class golf. One is going to be day, and one is going to be night. So when you're above 1,200 feet AGL, but below 10,000 feet MSL, in class G during the day, EFR weather minimums are one statute miles and 152 again. So that's 1,000 feet above, 500 feet below, 2,000 feet horizontal. Now when you're in class G at night, above 1,200 feet AGL, but below 10,000 feet, it's gonna be the same as here. It's gonna be three, 152, all right? Now, down here when we're below 1,200 feet AGL, for day, it's really simple. It's one statute miles clear of clouds. For night, it gets a little complicated. We have to divide this up into two parts because when we are half nautical mile from an airport, it's gonna be one COC, one statute mile clear of clouds. When we're not within a half nautical mile of an airport, but we're below 1,200 feet AGL at night. Three, 152. Another thing to kind of remember you to draw these is that this is the same as this, and this here is the same as this. 
finally we're gonna do our last base which again it doesn't mean this doesn't mean that it's underground it just means it doesn't we don't have to worry about these altitudes and that's class bravo so class bravo depending on what airport you're surrounding it's going to have different ceilings for its airspace and no matter where you are altitude wise if you're in class bravo it's always the same it's always three statute miles and clear of clouds all right so that's how you draw your triangle if you memorize how to draw this enough so that you can see it in your head the first thing you can do when you sit down for your fa written is you can take a scrap piece of paper you can draw this out and now you basically have notes to reference throughout your test so you draw your triangle you draw your sections and then you start from the top and you draw the airspace designation the visibility and the cloud plane it takes some practice but it's it's very worth it